What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you see, we four length uh, back out the odor. Uh, it's still sitting where it's sitting because you can't drive it because got no shocks, no springs, no nothing. Uh, I have a pair of Fox shocks, about 40 inches long, 24 compressed, something like that. Anyway, about yay long. So they're going to sit here and sit here. And as you can see, we've already got one tube bent. Um, kind of sort of sitting in place, not really sitting in place, but it's, it's here. Uh, we're going to wrap a tube around here, come across there, bring a couple tubes down to meet it, meet it over here. A couple tubes coming up, triangulate it, you know. Tubes, tubes everywhere. So here we go. We're going to bend some tube. You'll love it. So, got a piece of tube sitting in the bender. Uh, I've got to hook the air up to it. It's air over pneuma or pneumatic over hydraulic to bend it. Anyway, first step we always do is we clean it up real good. Get some black thinner on a rag, wipe the tube down, get all the crap off it, clean it up real nice. Uh, next step is the program gives you, you know, your zero point and your first bend and your second bend. And so we go through and we mark the two. That's what these blue pieces of tape are over here. You know, the first bend is already in there somewhere. The second bend right there and this and the pipe. We went ahead and cut it off. So, you know, we'll bend and bend. This is going to be the, oh, it's going to go from here and wrap around over here, over there. So uh, this piece here is not in place yet. It's just sitting here. Um, so don't you worry about that little guy. Uh, but here we go. We're going to bend this tube. One thing I forgot to tell you, before you uh, bend your tube, you'll want an angle finder. You know, this is a digital one, so it's, it's pretty neat. Um, but you'll want an angle finder on that tube at the end of it because as you're bending it up, you want to make sure your bend stays straight in line or if you have one that kinks off at an angle, you want to be able to measure your angle from your zero point. So Zach made a little, what is this, a can twist clamp with a little flat plate on it. Stick it on there. Works pretty good. You're so smart. So we're already clamped in. This will be, whatever we set this at will be zero. Downfall is we couldn't get the whole bend in one shot. So this bender is designed to put this pin in here, release it, and then you can release the ram. Retract the ram to the next pinhole location. Go. It's 
just a little bit. Two. Look at that. Point two. Point two. So oh, it's the floor. The floor, probably. I mean, we were right. Go the wrong way. Yeah, within probably a quarter inch there, eighth of an inch. It's pretty good. We'll take care of that in the uh, cut. That turned out real good. We have discovered that this here two building is it's an art. It's a science, but it's an art. We got side wings going off here. Got a high speed police chase outside somewhere, fellas. And ladies. I forget the ladies. Get off of there. There it is. This piece will go right. There. Like so. This is a tube notching jig. Um, we got the tube in the notcher um, measure the angle probably to you it looks a little crooked that's probably because the end because when i looked at it when i was setting up that camera I, I thought it was a little crooked too but it ain't it's just the way it is um you set the angle finder on this because it's just sitting in a vise and then you set it on here and make sure you're you know parallel and plumb and square and with with the world and then uh you mark your hole where you want to put your notch in it you start notching. Make sure you got your can of lube ready. Always need lube. Lube makes everything better. You all right, Tidy? Yeah, start fast and then. Start fast? Yeah, RPM fast and then back and down. Once again. Notch. Here, let me take you off here so you can see that better. All right, see there? That's a nice little pretty notch. Love it. And we will grind that up and clean it up before we get it all stuck down. But now, to do that end, flip it over, repeat the process. We're not going to show you that because that was probably painful enough to watch. software that Zach has for not editing sorry wrong wrong hobby uh, the bending software in the CAD and everything it'll give you a paper cutout the same size as the tube and it'll give you the shape and form of how you need to cope your tubing you find a point on your tube that's same as on the other side and you can line this up wrap it around your tube draw your line Get the old grinder out, cope that tubing to that form, 
and in theory, it'll fit like a glove, perfect in between there. So we're gonna go ahead, so I, so I got it made and got it marked. I'm gonna cut that out real quick and we'll see if it fits. how well you can see that but get the old piece of paper up on there it matches so that should fit on that pipe like a dream all right coping looks good not bad not bad nice tape it all the way around it I'll spin you around I'll take it I'm gonna go ahead and tack that on other side's all cleaned up, looks the same, ready to tack on. Not bad, guys, not bad. Here we are at where we are now in this stage of this build. Uh, I gotta say that Zach's pieces of paper, little cutouts, that computer's smarter than we are because that shit is spot on. Didn't even have to dress that up much. I mean, it pretty well matches the paper. But this tube, if you look, oh, easy big fella. We'll go right there and tie that to that corner. Same on that side, that was already done. So I got a tack, 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 tiggy tack. Then take it off, you know, smack it up, flip it, weld it down. Oh no. And then, uh, once those are all tacked in, we will stick it to the frame for the, oh wait, I gotta get, I got this here. This hoop is gonna go right here after I get that all coked up and that's where my tag and my tail lights gonna sit. They're gonna live right there in that little hoop to hoop So we'll get that under there like that and then the next bracket bars will go from here to here where this intersects. A bam right there so yeah next step cope it well yeah tack 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 cope tack 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 a lot of tacks all right we're going we're gonna keep going we're gonna turn the heaters on too because it's gonna get cold all right guys here we go we're gonna plug the tube from here to here Get my shock mounts on. Uh, it'll be a bracket here. Top of my shocks mount on. But it ain't happening today. This is uh, your notice to be continued. Make sure you tune into my next video. Um, click on the little bell notification, like, share, subscribe. You know, so you know when this next video comes out. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.